What is going on, guys? I almost killed myself on that <laughs> skid. Dave almost killed himself, too. But uh, welcome to the video. The big homie Dave is in town again from Mexico. And this is a special visit because he has a very stiff neck right now. Bro, I woke up the other day, could not even move. I feel like a, a living mummy. Just, it's all good, though. You know why? Because today we're going to hit the gym. We're, we're trying to go for a, a PR with deadlifts today. And that's, that's really good for a store in the neck. Dude, my head's going to fall off, man. It's going to be on the gym floor. I'm out. Anyway, this is going to be a fun video. We're about to sit down and answer some of your best dating questions. Yeah, and this is some of the stuff that we really struggle with. So it's really going to help you take your game to the next level and get better results with girls. All right, real quick reminder before we answer the first question. This Thursday is a little edge drop. We're gonna relaunch these uh, these lifestyle hoodies. Uh, we're launching pink, black, and that cream color that you guys have seen me rocking pretty much every video. Thursday. All right, let's fire up Instagram and get to these questions. First question, hey bro, I need your help. I met this girl at the gym and it was so unexpected, so I ended up getting her on Snapchat and things ended good with our convo. Do you think I should ask her out right away or would that come across as too direct? First of all, thank you, bro. Thank you so much for talking to girls at the gym. Too many dudes these days are like, you can't talk to girls at the gym, it's creepy, it's a creep move. But, but here's the thing, I can tell you from my experience, if you get comfortable being social at the gym and talking to guys and girls, like a, a lot of these opportunities are gonna present themselves. But here's the thing, man, you should never be not expecting to get a girl's number, right? Anytime you talk to a girl, you gotta be aware of what the next step is and be ready to take her to that next step. Otherwise, you're just gonna get lost in the bliss of the conversation. Yeah, that's why, like you guys see it in our approach videos, I always have that line ready in the back of your head. Do you wanna hang out sometime? It's really that easy because now when you ask for the contact information, like she knows what's coming next. Also, bro, this is probably the biggest dating mistake I used to make. Like I'd get a girl's number and then I'd waste a bunch of time messaging her back and forth and we never hang out. Yeah, you're not trying to be pen pals, you're trying to get her on a date, so make it happen. Alright, first things first, we had to take Dave to come get some some breakfast tacos Texas style. And you guys always think I'm hating on Mexican tacos. And to be fair, I, I am hating on them. Because Mexican tacos, they tend to be like small tortillas with just meat inside. And you come to Texas and you get tacos that have like eggs and bacon and potatoes and it, it, it's just better. But you haven't been to Mexico in years. You need to come down there. I'm going to show you the best tacos you ever had in your life. And you're going to shut the hell up about that. Alright, next question. I work at an international company, and on my last business trip, I slept with my colleague who works across the world. She's really cute, we've been texting a lot, but it's not gonna work out because of the distance. How do I keep things light and playful without allowing us to catch feelings so we can hook up next time we see each other? Dude, I actually had a similar situation like this a few years back. It was with a girl who was really good friends with my buddy, and... You were hooking up with your bu your buddy's girlfriend? <laughs> no, it wasn't my buddy's girlfriend. He was cool. He was not trying to hook up with this girl. Right, it was right. like it was like a childhood friend. Right. And we lived across the world from each other. I never really kept in touch with her, but whenever we meet, maybe like every eight or nine months or so randomly, she we, we, we would hook up and it was kind of understood. And we didn't really keep in touch aside from that. Yeah, man. So I'd say don't worry about keeping in touch with her because if the chemistry is good, when you guys see each other again, it's going to be exciting. It only happens every so often. And if you're like, okay, every week I got to text this girl to keep things going, it's going to prevent you. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've been texting a girl who wasn't really available at the time. And then it just, it prevents you from like being open to meeting other girls who are in your area. So it's going to fuck you. It's, it's going to make you kind of stressed out too. This is actually a way that Instagram can come in handy here though, because instead of trying to hit her up all the time, you can just post a story, post a few pics, she can watch them. And that's how you can kind of stay on the back of her mind without actually having to hit her up constantly. Yeah, and if she posts a story and you have like a funny response, you know, go ahead and send her that instead of sending her like a, like a formal text message. And actually, this is a, it's a good technique if you're seeing a girl who does live in your town, but maybe she's traveling for a few weeks and you just want to keep, you know, light contact. Being active on Instagram, it can be a, very helpful. Trying to get the change uh, so I can make it rain. Yeah, trying to climb a mountain top so I can be the change. Well, you don't know the pain. No, you don't know the game. No, you don't know what I've been through. This is more than fame. So check it out, man. 
if you're watching this right now and you kind of feel like no matter what you do, you just can't figure out your dating life. Like it's that last piece of the puzzle that it just never feels natural. When you're trying to approach girls, you always feel anxious and awkward and you struggle to get girls attracted and keep them attracted. Then I want to help you out personally. And uh, every day I, I get a lot of emails from dudes who are asking me if I offer private coaching. And up until this point, I have not been able to do that just because I don't have the time. But I was talking with Dave, and lately you've actually been offering private coaching, right? Yeah, man, I got a really solid group of guys I've been coaching, and they've really been crushing and getting tons of dates, tons of hookups, even within like the first two to three weeks. So it's been really successful. Yeah, so after I talked with him, we realized that if we team up and do this together, this is something that we can offer. So basically, we're looking for 25 super motivated guys to work with over a 10 week period. And during that time, not only are we going to give you a step by step blueprint that shows you exactly what to do, you know, from before the first approach to setting up the first date to what to do after that, we're going to personally mentor you the whole time. Yeah, this is going to make sure that you have the accountability and support you need week by week so that you actually implement everything. And this really is the X factor to making those huge changes in your dating life. So if you want to be a part of this, all you need to do is click the first link in the description, fill out a quick application, and if you're a good fit, we'll get back to you. But remember, man, this is first come, first serve. We're only looking for a super limited amount of guys, so I wouldn't hesitate. Go ahead, click that first link. So the big homie Dave is taking the workout off today. He's got that, that crooked neck syndrome going on. He hasn't stopped complaining about it all day. But we are in deadlifts today. We're going for 485 pounds for a triple. This would be a PR. Last week we did 475 and the weight was moving pretty good. So I am not, not too concerned. Let's fucking do it, bro. I was in a little intimidator right now. We're almost at five plates, ten pounds away from five plates. But uh, let's fucking do it. You don't know the game, no. You don't know what I've been through. This is more than fame. Uh, moving 'cause I gotta get it. Yeah, you know it's super focused. Uh, you might not see it now, but soon you gon' know this. Yeah, I'm swim through it like I'm Billy Ocean. Yeah, I'm a boss, so I gotta get it by any means. Like, oh yeah. Bro, I almost lost my grip. That last rep, but we got it. It's my place. Yeah, it's coming soon. Every day I go all out. Yeah, I cut the check and watch me ball out. Yeah, every day I go all out. Workout, uh, that workout felt amazing, man. From uh, from what I understand, he went to uh, McDonald's <laughs> instead of the workout. How was that? Bro, bro I did a couple of legs, but then a my, couple my, legs. Yeah, my, my neck was... Yeah, that crooked neck syndrome. Up. Yeah, and there was no Starbucks. I had to hit the McDonald's. What, did, that, what do you want from me, bro? Does that make, how's the neck feeling after that McDonald's? Yo, you know what? I think it's a little bit rejuvenated. <laughs> All right, let's get back to these questions, bro. There's this girl I like. She has a boyfriend, but she added me on Snapchat and keep sending me those hot picks. Should I make a move? Yo, what are those hot picks? What are you talking about hot picks? Yeah, what type of, how hot are these picks? <laughs> but approaching girls or like pursuing girls who have a boyfriend, it's such a rookie move, man. And like, it's a mistake we used to make though. Hey man, I remember back in my sophomore year of college, I was going really hard for this freshman girl and she had a boyfriend and I was almost happy she had a boyfriend because I was like, you know what, I'm going to get her to cheat on her boyfriend with me. I was, I was power tripping. Yeah man, when you're new to approaching girls, you're trying to prove to yourself that you're a man and you can do it and you got to realize that like, that's an insecurity and if you're trying to pursue a girlfriend or a girl who has a boyfriend, you're just being insecure man, you're being weak. At the end of the day, the best thing you can do is whenever you meet 
a new girl, ask yourself, is she available or is she not available? If she has a boyfriend or she's long distance or she's just not into you, she's not available. So like any more time that you invest into these girls, you're wasting it. <laughs> I've wasted a lot of time with girls who aren't available. It's, it's, it never works out. It's just a waste of your time. All right, next. Hey, David. Watch your channel a lot. Big fan. Thanks, bro. I've been seeing this girl a lot. <laughs> Yo, he was talking about my channel for sure. <laughs> I, I bro. That's right. <laughs> but uh, I've been seeing this girl a lot recently, even taking her out and even got her back to my place a few times, and we've kissed. But now she's not texting back as much, and she seems a little bit distant. How do I handle this? Well, well first of all, if you're getting her back to your place and just kissing her but not going for the hookup, like girls are gonna lose interest man because you have all this tension built up you guys are having an exciting night you go back to your place and then you just kiss her and there's just a lot less exciting to see you again but i think it's a phase we all go through regardless where we're just not comfortable going through the hookup i used to do this all the time but then every time i had a girl at my place in the back of my head i'd be like i don't know she might turn me down she might not be down for this but you have to realize if a girl comes home with you like there's an expectation like she probably knows what's gonna go down doesn't mean she's always gonna say yes if she says no obviously accept that and move on but as long as you have a, a plan in place it should go pretty smoothly yeah man what we figured out is that anytime you bring a girl home whether it be from the bar or the club or from a date you want to go for that hookup within a 10 to 15 minute window otherwise shit's gonna start getting awkward y'all are gonna just get lost in a conversation no one's gonna be making a move and it's gonna get weird right now as for how to do that you want to just, just go in, offer her a drink, whether it be water or alcohol. Y'all sit down on the couch, get settled in a little bit, and that's when you go for the move. Try this on your next date, man. I promise you it's going to work. Tell me exactly how you feel. I'm just trying to keep it real. Let me love you on the inside. Love you on the inside. Tell me exactly what you mean. You mean everything to me. So a little mob pizza for dinner. Have you ever been here before, bro? I've never been here before, bro. Only Blaze. I've never had their uh, their garlic cheesy bread before. Like I've had their garlic bread, but not their garlic cheesy bread. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a little a little something new. Bro, it's like it's like a nine out of ten, man. You gotta try this. All right, two questions for you, bro. Pineapple on pizza or not? Yeah. Forget about the second question, bro. Dude, if it's a Hawaiian pizza. Yeah, I'll see you later, man. <laughs> fuck, fuck that. Yesterday, I had somebody, someone who watches the channel, they were like, yo, every time I throw out my trash at restaurants, I think about you now. And that, uh, I felt like that was a big win for me, man. It's a big step for the channel. All right, this is a good one right here. Long-term girlfriend, 6.5 years, broke up with me because she didn't feel the spark anymore. She doesn't know what she wants in life or out of anything. She just felt like she needed space and time to figure herself out and assured me it had nothing to do with anyone else. I would love things, love to make things work with her, earn her excitement back before she ends up with someone else. She just doesn't think we can do it right now and wants to remain friends. Whoa. This is, this is, uh, this is heavy, man. A lot to unpack, yeah. So I'll say that you know, when someone that you're with uh, breaks up with you, and this happened, my first girlfriend broke up with me, it's hard, man, like it, like it hurts. And every part of your body wants to try and get back with her. But man, let me tell you, it's it harder for her to take that step. Like it's so hard to break up with someone else. Like not only is it hard to come to the decision, it's even harder to follow through and actually do it. Like you have to realize, this is probably something she was thinking about for a long time and talked to her friends and family about. It's not just like she woke up one day and was like, oh, like that's it, we done. So there's probably deeper issues going on than just the spark, even though you know that, that's what she said to you. So I'd really urge you to like try and move on, man. Uh, I can't imagine, even if you did something crazy to get an emotional reaction out of her and you were able to like draw her back in and get back together, I can tell you from my experience and from what I've seen with my friends, once you guys break up once, like the damage is usually done, you guys end up just breaking up again and then it just gets drawn out and ugly. I'll say like the longer you hang on to this little bit of hope, which I've done this before too, 
you just like you, you start comparing other girls to this same girl like I did that a lot of times when we were in Boston with yeah. that one girl too yeah. and it just screws you up mentally it tricks your brain into thinking that you don't need to replace her and you, th you think oh no other girl's as good as this girl no other girl's ever gonna yeah. be as good as this girl it's, it's bullshit you gotta just take the step right now realize it's time to move on give yourself that time and space yeah, man, unfollow her on social media. Stop texting her. Don't make this agreement. We're, we're going to text in three months or something. You know, you need to cut off contact. The only way you're going to heal and rebuild is through time apart. Now, bro, obviously you want to be prepared to maintain the spark in your next relationship, right? And the same goes for you guys who are starting to be exclusive with one girl. So how do you do that? Well, one of the best ways to do it is by having great sex. Yeah, man, sex is like the most intimate thing that you guys are going to do together so if it's if it's really bland it's the same thing every time or it's just not happening that consistently or maybe you got a really stiff neck like these things <laughs> these things these things are going to ruin not only your sex life but this is going to spill in to other parts of your relationship say, bro. <laughs> yeah man but the key here is to make sure the sex doesn't get too routine so the way you do that is to add some variance so this could be things like role play. It could be changing up the length of time you typically have sex for, things like that. Yeah, another key thing, I think, is to be open to different types of sex. Like if you guys are, you know, cuddling and watching a movie, this might lead to more intimate, slow sex. Maybe you guys are coming back from the gym, though, in the middle of the day, your heart rates are up. That might lead to a little more rough sex. You might end up with a stiff neck after that. Might have to go to the chiropractor, <laughs> come back, and then it just revs right back up. Man, the funny thing is, we went to a massage yesterday. We're going to a chiropractor tomorrow. You be all right? <laughs> I, ain't fucking, I ain't fucking around, bro. It's just, I couldn't even walk this morning. <laughs> Anyway, bro, we're going to wrap this video up right here. I got to take this guy home so we can ice up his neck a little bro, bit. I need a shot of morphine or something, man. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get you a shot of morphine, too. But uh, we got so many questions that we couldn't answer in this video, so we made a part two. That just went live on Dave's channel. I'll go ahead and link that down. Second link in description if you made it to the end of this video. I appreciate you, man. Give it a thumbs up, and I will talk to all of y'all in the next video. Stay beastly. Hey, every day. Ball out, yeah. I cut the check and watch me ball out.